Hello and welcome to Harbor Home at 32 Haverhill. Here we truly believe that you can have a healthy, simple, and welcoming home no matter where home is. video ever on YouTube I wanted to share with you all an Aldi two-week overhaul um, what and what that looks like for us we are on a budget here at our in our harbor home um, I know many of you out there are as well we just thought we would share yeah what two weeks worth of groceries looks like on a budget um, a few things to know about the way we eat we try to eat a, the majority in whole foods meaning that we're eating the actual item like actual apple, actual chicken. Um, if we, we have a sauce, we want to make that sauce ourselves. A lot of from scratch cooking, uh, but we know reality is reality. And so I would call ourselves about a 70% uh, a whole food kitchen or from scratch kitchen. Um, so things like noodles. I don't have the time or desire at this point in my life to try to make noodles. Um, but the things, the noodles I do buy are typically gluten-free, that's just for my own uh, dietary needs. Um, but they're also simple with only a few ingredients. Um, so th that's what I mean when I say whole food cooking or whole food kitchen. Uh, a few other things to know, we have a 15 month old son and so some of the food that you see here is for him. He can only eat certain things and I also want him to have a semi-normal childhood and um, enjoying some things like peanut butter Ritz crackers, for example. Um, so, so you'll see some of that here as well. But first, let's make an iced coffee. guys have not discovered this iced coffee recipe yet, I highly recommend it. I make it multiple times in a day. Um, well, it's usually more like one now, but um, such good coffee and it's seriously uh, so, so, so cheap. The cheapest homemade iced coffee you'll ever discover. I have the recipe over on my, on my blog. I'll link it below in the show notes. Um, but yeah, if you haven't had one yet, I recommend it. So one of the things I bought was these uh, fruit pouches for my son. He loves the little fruit pouches. These are apple, banana, apple, and peach. Um, three cans of beans. If you are unfamiliar with the concept of rice and beans as a cheap meal, um, well, here you go, rice and beans. It's a cheap, cheap, cheap meal. But we love to have beans on hand, even to throw in like a hamburger. If you make tacos, just throw in a can of beans, it makes the taco meat last much longer. Um, a little can of chipotle adobe peppers. I make uh, chipotle aioli with this and my goodness, it's delicious. They're like 69 cents a can and it lasts you a very, very, very long time. You don't need much to make a really good sauce. So this is a high, a high priority for me when I go to Aldi. Bunch of bananas, blueberries, which we've already started tearing into. Yes, I went grocery shopping on Monday and it's already Wednesday. So some of the stuff I'm pulling out, you'll see we've already started consuming, but you know, it's good stuff. You can't wait. Okay, um, peanut butter Ritz crackers for my Todd boy. A mac and cheese for my Todd boy. Um, a whole chicken. I love making whole chickens. Uh, one of the best things about this is that you can save the bones and make your own homemade bone broth. That is one very easy way to make the value of a chicken stretch. In my experience, 
um, buying a whole chicken is actually cheaper than buying all the different cuts of meat. Um, there's this video I saw on YouTube quite a while ago and it really convinced me, especially when you start using every single part of the chicken. So um, the chicken skin, if you don't want it to cook that, you can tear it off, set it aside, and then render it to get your own cooking oil, a very natural. Uh, uh, animal fat is one of the best cooking oils to use. Um, and then, yeah, saving the bones can be uh, great for making your own homemade bone broth, which is very expensive in the store. I also have another post about that on my blog. I can link below doing a, a cost comparison. So highly recommend buying your own whole chicken. Um, oh, and they're so, so easy to make. They may sound very daunting because we only make whole birds around Thanksgiving. Um, but truly, it's super simple. That will be another uh, video that I make for you all is how to roast your own chicken. Then we got some tortillas. My husband loves tortillas. I do make my own tortillas um, at home most of the time, but um, I usually ask my family what it is that they're wanting um, when I go to the grocery store and my husband said tortillas. And so I said, great, I'll buy tortillas. So I bought him his regular version. Mine, I bought gluten-free version. So two different kinds. It's usually, that, that was kind of a splurge. We don't always do this. this package of baby back ribs. So this is an example of a whole food, but not like a whole food because this sauce that it's made in is not uh, necessarily made from me or from our kitchen. Um, but again, we were on a little bit of a splurge this, this week or this month. Um, so I thought, oh, baby back ribs. That sounds amazing. Two bags of these corn chips, tor tortilla to corn chips. As you can tell, we've already broken into them. I, I buy two when I buy them because we can't go a few days without one bag being completely empty. They're so good. And those are gluten-free as well. Um, my favorite, favorite chip. A uh, thing of kielbasa. Okay, this, is a real, this was a really good deal. Uh, three pounds of pork. Um, tons, I can't tell exactly how many are in here, but they're thinly sliced. So I'm guessing we're gonna get a lot of meals out of this whole thing of pork chops. Um, and then keeping in the meat category, I've got two pounds of grass-fed ground beef. Um, I only buy two at a time because grass-fed ground beef is kind of expensive in my mind, but it's really worth, worth, worth it. Um, and we'd like to have a variety of meats around the house um, because when you're gluten-free, let me tell you one thing, or if you're on any type of diet, I don't know, not diet, that's the wrong word. If you're wa uh, wanting to eat more whole foods instead of processed foods, you will find you're buying a lot of meat because um, that is good protein and usually good fats, and those are things that we need in our nutrition. Um, and so, yeah, meat is where a majority of our grocery budget goes every every month. But um, like I said, it's worth it when you're cooking from home. That's what you need. A thing of chicken chicken thighs, the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Now, like I said, with the whole chicken, I, that's usually the route I go. I rarely ever buy like just one cut of meat anymore. Um, but because I was stocking up and this was on a sale, I decided to buy it. Um, so a package of the chicken thighs. I think chicken thighs make a better meat when you're making like stir fries and Asian or Thai dishes. Um, it just, it cooks a lot better in my mind than a chicken breast. So uh, that's why I buy the chicken thighs. Got two pounds of pork sausage or breakfast sausage. Lots of fun things to make with that. Cheerios, again, for the babe. Um, another can of applesauce. This just goes so far when you have a baby. <laughs> applesauce, applesauce, applesauce. Tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce. Uh, let's see, this, um, this juice. A bunch of cilantro. A jug of milk. Again, for baby, I'm, t I'm typically uh, dairy-free, so, um, so yeah, that, the milk is usually for the babe. Trail mix, I think a trail mix. A dozen eggs. Oh, eggs is just like such a staple, especially when it comes to protein. A cheap, cheap, cheap version, version of protein. So, we bought some eggs. A jar of salsa, pineapple salsa is my favorite. Uh, Aldi has a good version of that. And then I also got this thing of, um, I already cooked it up last night for dinner. Um, 
is a pad thai noodles. We really love Asian food and so pad thai was on my wish list this last, uh, this last, or this month for dinner and I made it last night. So this is like a half of a package left of cooked up noodles. Um, I think that's everything. I also did make a stop at Target and get a few things that I couldn't find at Aldi. It's usually the case when you shop at Aldi, there may be one or two really specific things you can't find. So I did go there and get just some really random stuff. Oh, cocoa powder. That's another thing I bought at Aldi is cocoa powder. A few things to know here. I already have my pantry pretty well stocked with like the, the, the cooking staples. So cooking oils, um, seasonings, um, like cans of coconut milk. There's just, or like grains, like noodles, rice, that kind of stuff I just always seem to have on um, in my pantry. If I don't have them, I usually go out and buy them even if it's not like a typical grocery shopping day or week because um, what I've found is that when you want to try to make your food stretch to save money, even though you have food that you could make, there's little cheaper things that you can buy that will just make that food last longer, if that makes sense, like peanut butter. I had um, some oatmeal and some other just like random things and I was like, well, these could be some really good protein balls, you know, energy balls. Uh, but I don't have peanut butter. And so I went out and got peanut butter for a small price to make the other items in my pantry last longer. So that's one of my tricks is knowing what those cheap things are to make other things last longer. And then one day you'll have no groceries and be able to start again from zero. Um, so that's what I had done this last month, worked my way through as much as I could. And then on Monday I was like, okay, nope, we really need groceries now. <laughs> so that's when I went shopping. Um, yeah, okay, another thing that you may notice if you're like taking inventory or observing the way we do things is that uh, we have a garden in our backyard and so you may, you don't see any veggies, you see some fruit, uh, but no veggies, that's because our garden was plentiful this year with acorn squash and green beans and kale. Kale is actually still growing, which is amazing. So I haven't had to buy groceries or uh, veggie vegetables since like June, which to me is insane. Uh, oh, I just thought of something else I bought. Okay, mushrooms. I bought two things of mushrooms because I'm going to be making a gluten-free, dairy-free uh, green bean casserole for you all for uh, Thanksgiving. So if that's something you want to try, keep out, keep your eye out for that on my blog. Um, so yeah, besides, you know, what I just mentioned, uh, we don't have to buy a lot of vegetables. So it's, if you have more, if you have even like a quarter of an acre, I would highly recommend just tilling up a piece of ground, planting some vegetables, and it is amazing what you'll see grow over the course of the summer and um, what you'll be able to reap from that. So that is a high recommendation on my part. Yeah, so okay, thank you for watching this. I, um, I hope these groceries will last us about two weeks, if not a little more. I was thinking about it more today and just thought, wow, you know, I bet I can make this, these groceries last quite a long time. Um, so hopefully that'll be the case for us and um, yeah this was a fun first grocery haul for uh, you all to see. I had done a poll on YouTube and this was the top, top, most top rated video that you wanted to see as my first video. Other things like um, how to make a seasonal wreath, a tutorial, uh, a Christmas version of my iced coffee, and then I can't remember what this, oh roasted chicken and vegetables, those were the other things on the list and every I mean everyone all those other ones were tied so a lot of people wanted to see those too I will be making those videos over the course of time but this is gonna be my first first video to launch this YouTube channel we are so happy to have you here please hit that hit the subscribe button and come back again for more videos on whole food cooking hospitality and simple living thank you so much for ringing the doorbell at 32 Haverhill Hill